What's up, YouTube? I'm Mr. No Name, or Max, as people know in the real world, and today I'm going to be bringing you guys the plant spot slash lines of sight for the map recovery. Real quick, uh, yesterday was Thanksgiving. I hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving. Um, that's why I didn't upload yesterday. I figured a lot of you guys would probably be with family, and also I was out of town with some family, so I couldn't really upload. But I'm um, bringing you a video today, so I hope you guys enjoy. So first spot here. You just want to jump right up here, and you're going to need a sniper probably for this. This is more of just a check spot to see if they're on the bomb. Obviously, you can kind of watch flank from here as well. You can just jump once and see that. But also, if you're just looking at a bomb, you can see that right corner when you double jump. Um, you know, not the greatest spot. I Personally, I wouldn't trust myself with a sniper back here to try and hit that spot. But if you've got a really good sniper on the team, or if you just want to use that as a lookout position, feel free to do so. Next spot is this corner here. This one you can use with an AR, a sniper, whatever. Uh, you can just look through this little corner here and you can see the A-bomb site. Um, you just got to worry about your back. So this is more of a two-person spot. Have one person sit here and watch the flank, something like that. Uh, next spot here is not actually a plant spot, but it's a halfway decent line of sight. You just get up on this little pillar here and you crouch down and you can see down this alleyway and you can also see mid a um, little bit iffy spot, but it's kind of out there. Not many people know about it, so I don't know. It could be useful. Uh, I just thought I'd throw that in there. Next plant spot here, you just want to get on this railing, and I don't know why I'm double jumping. You can single jump and get on it, but you just uh, scoot back some. You don't want to fall off, obviously. Um, if you have a sniper here, your gun is probably going to stick out, so this is better probably with an AR or a sub. Uh, you just look at this right corner. Um, you do have to worry about if they come from up top, but otherwise you should be able to win the gunfight. Um, anybody coming from over here should run right past you. They'll expect you in this corner or right up here or something. So that that's a pretty decent spot that not many people know about yet. Uh, next spot here is an iffy one because your back is completely exposed, but you just lay here and you watch this corner of the bomb. Um, they shouldn't see you from over there until they get there, and so you might win the gunfight. Anybody on your back, though, could pick you off pretty easy, so keep that in mind. Uh, next spot is you just get on top of this railing here, and you can see the very corner of the bomb here, or you can scoot over a little bit, and then you can just see this whole front side of the bomb, so you can just plant it there um, and scoot up, and then watch your flank, and then scoot over whenever you want to check the bomb. Just make sure you don't fall off. Um, you can do a couple different little weird angles over here. I was really hoping you could get here and go around on the corner and see it. Um, if you go past that corner right there, you will fall off and you can't see the bomb, but you're completely hidden from all directions, so it's a really cool spot. You could just kind of sit there uh, to watch flank if you wanted to. Just like move up right here and then watch flank, so just kind of keep that in mind. Uh, next spot here, if you plant it right about there next to the bomb, you just come right back here, and you'll be able to see the bomb on the ground. Uh, should be able to snipe them or pick them off with an AR or whatever you're using. Um, you got to worry about your back a little bit if they go all the way around the flank, but otherwise you should be good. Or you could sit right back here and watch it, and then they won't see you until they get all the way up. Um, I, I, I just kind of take turns sitting in either spot. If I want to rotate around, I'll go here. If I want to just take my odds and hope they'll miss me, then I'll just sit on top of this and watch it. So uh, just keep that in mind. And that's really all the spots for A. So getting into B, there's only a few, and you guys probably know most of them. First one is you just lay down on this roof, and you just look at the corner of the bomb there. Um, next one is probably the most common, but th there's just not that many for B, so I thought I'd throw it in, is right under this little thing. I don't even know what to call it, but you just look under here. Um, obviously, your left and right are exposed. Also, anybody in the B room can see under it pretty easily, and all that's showing is really your head. So it's kind of an iffy spot. Um, I don't personally like to use it, but I thought I'd throw it in anyway. Next one is right up here. Um, you just kind of lay down, and you can see this very tip of the bomb. Um, other than that, what you can do is you can lay down on either side of these things and just watch one doorway. You will get prone blocked. So you can be killed from one side at all times, no matter where you lay. So it's a little bit iffy, but if you know where they're coming from, that could be a good option to just kind of lay behind one of these and uh, wait for them to walk by. But um, yeah, that's all the spots for this map. So as you guys can see, we're coming to the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, then please like, comment, and or subscribe. If you didn't, then let me know what I can do better next time. Constructive criticism goes a long way, guys. Until next time, everybody, peace out.